Good evening. Yes. Right. Evening. <laughs> the best night ever. Yes, the best night ever. Um, which one shall I do first? I'll do Miss Pam first. <clears throat> right. So the book wants this one is called Time. A free spirit, finer than a will of the wisp. It has no substance. We try to harness it, yet it owns us. It has no power, yet it is most powerful. We are slaves to it and must do its bidding. We are always aware of it, always wary of it. Wary that we'll run out of it daily. Wary that we'll run out of it one day. It is most intangible and most influential. It is constant, yet inconsistent. Some feel they have too much of it. Some say they have none. Then ask where that which we did not have has gone. Some say they have none to spare, as if it's tangible enough to share. It has us uneasy, disconcerted, disturbed when we don't have enough, fretful, when we have too much on our hands. Our fragile minds would have it uniform. Our busy minds would have it organized, dialed by the sun, ticked by the clock. But no, it continues in its flexible discontinuity. Our hectic minds beg to have more. Our young minds wonder why it takes so long. Our old minds question why it weighs so heavily in our hands. Too abstract for us to cope, yet we should remember to handle with great care the perceptions of others with whom we think we share this cold, unavoidable 